Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me for a Peggy's Shorts. I usually put a lot of my ideas into these sketchbooks. Think, I think in a sketchbook. I practice in a sketchbook. And today this short's going to be about just letting the paper say what's in light and just painting shadow masses. I'm just going to do a row of figures. Okay. They don't have to be figures that make sense together. Just the only thing I'm going to do different with this is I'm using a pencil line so that you can see how just where the paper is doing the work for me. Okay, I have a full palette. Here's her shadow.
Okay, let me do another one. This time I'm just going to start without a drawing. How about that? That's kind of what the sketchbook one was like. You have to slow down a little to do it that way, though. I hope this yellow shows up on top of that. I think this yellow in shadow is showing up okay, painting it right on top of this other layer, this under layer of gouache. You don't want to stroke it, you know, pet it too much, otherwise you're going to end up with, um, it's going to get muddy. Do I want to push in some reflected light? Just in the, We're only working in, with, within the shadow shape. Do I want to push in some reflected light or some ambient light? Maybe some ambient, huh? That'll be just a slight, slight, slight color change. 
maybe a that is super great if hint to, if it's not like bothersome for you it's yeah. really nice just a hint of a value change too just a touch your ambient light's going to hit the planes facing up that are receiving that sky light from the sky Let's see I'm going to darken her hair put a little more red into that not so green You can go ahead and put some accents in here and there, just just to, uh, differentiate. That's a little too dark. So calm that down. It's a little here. And I've left all the paper just to say what's in light. Okay, I'm going to grab another one here that has I kind of prefer doing these without the pencil line. It forces me to slow down and pay a little more attention to the shapes. So I'm going to do Mary right here. And I'll put in a little bit of background to hold that edge there. So I don't use any of these like yellow ochre or orange or yellow with white straight for for flesh. I always gray it down a bit. I'm graying it down with some of the black that's in here and blue just so it doesn't get uh, too garish. Again, I'll paint over this with the yellow. This helps. That way it doesn't kind of interrupt my drawing flow. really kind of have to concentrate of look uh, looking at it as just a big shape I can fix that got a little I can fix that with the towel going over that with the towel in shadow.
I use a have to when I paint from photos, I have to use a lot of color memory from actual from the, my actual painting from life. Cause this these go a little. Let's see the towel. The colors get a little washed out, so. But as long as I get my value close, color isn't quite as critical for me. It's important, but I, I want to make sure I keep light separated from shadow when doing these. Okay, I'm going to go over that suit again, or over the base color with this yellow, because it looks, boy, yellow is one of those tough, tough colors to interpret in shadow. It's just really, okay, that should be, Now, to th bring this out, I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to capture this whole side of her. That's, ooh, that, I'm missing an important part here that I just noticed it helps define this little shadow right here that goes along the back of this arm and the rest of her neck is in shadow up here. Let's see, put in some A little bit of indicate some ambient uh, hitting the top of that leg. This arms getting reflected light from here and down through here. Those planes planes facing. She's got a, some of the trim on that suit is always fun to put in on these things, but only it's in shadow right here. I'm going to pretend it goes up around here. I think just for impact, I'm going to darken that towel a little bit. Okay, three figures in the row. 
Okay, so today it was just about letting the paper describe the illuminated parts of the form and just leaving the rest. If it isn't there, just don't worry about it. Really kind of makes you slow down and really see things as big shapes. Uh, makes you slow down and see the shapes. Okay. Thanks for joining me on my short today.